Good morning, folks. The sun is pretending it's sunspot maximum right now. In theory, we should be about there. He's wearing the right costume, but not exactly participating in the activities. Starting at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on the sun, and despite the enormous sunspots crossing the north, we've had very little activity from them. Impulsive flares that don't produce CMEs. No major nearby filament destabilizations. The earth-facing quiet we have discussed for a decade, and which took much of the last two months off, appears to be back and choking this region down to nothing. While we will obviously continue to watch them until they no longer have their rifles aimed at our planet, the coronal holes are more likely to be the space weather story over the next week. One departing should be amplifying geospace conditions this weekend with the incoming dark patch bottom left should impact Earth in the second half of next week. Let's take a moment for the storms in the Americas tonight and tomorrow. Big low cell with wind convergences north and south driving an unwelcome reminder of winter and will develop a bit tonight, but more so tomorrow, into severe storms with tornado potential on the southern convergence. Not only in eyes open for extreme weather, but look at the temperature regulation power of the wind flow around the low, utterly controlling where it's hot and cold without regard for geographic latitude. Little eye candy here, Hello VV 689 they call it the angel's wings. It is one of the prettiest and most elegantly symmetrical galaxy collisions there is to be seen in the heavens. Thanks for that one, Hubble. For veteran observers who remember the cosmological physics battles over the last five years, this one aims to discover what doctors Alfane and Peratt actually discovered decades ago. How double layer collapse, which they call reconnection, can happen in a tiny little area and yet affect magnetic fields millions of miles away in space. Folks, it's been almost five years since our video visualizing the double layer collapse and explaining what's actually happening when their magnetic reconnection meets the power and scale of cosmic plasma. That video is in your list of links below today's video. And last but not least, you don't say. Folks, this is still a baby step out of their elder constructs and into reality, but they believe the massive mantle structures and LLSVPs were super old and now are beginning to rethink that. Their models are now allowing for much more dynamic behavior within, and looking into the crystal ball, it's just beginning. And the most extreme events in our solar system and on our planet are capable of accelerating those processes, put it that way. And the term mantle heaving jumps back from the deep memory stores into the immediate imagination. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got some shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone